Hello Art Beaters! Becky here for ArtBeats.com and I've got a brand new video for you today. Today I'm sharing our brand new hand-painted animal pendants. These are beautifully painted pendants all featuring a fun animal theme and they're all painted on Mother of Pearl. So really beautiful pieces. Can't wait to take a look at them with you. So let's dive in. All right, let's dive into these pretty new hand-painted pendants. These are all animal-themed, and they're all on Mother of Pearl. So you can kind of see that iridescent Mother of Pearl peek through. So pretty. And what's great about the Mother of Pearl, too, it is shell. So they kind of, some of them have kind of like a curved or wavy um, form to them, which is really nice, really speaks to the the natural quality of these beautiful pieces. I love the penguins, so wonderful. And these are all hand painted, which is really incredible. They use really small brushes to paint these and they have lots of wonderful detail. And I love the mother of pearl as the background because it just adds that nice kind of shine. This one's so cute, the little squirrel with the leaves, perfect for the first day of fall. So lovely, I love that one. We've got the little tree frog, he's cute. So much detail in these, and they're all signed by whoever painted them. So they really are just like adding little works of art to your jewelry designs. So pretty, I love that. We've got a couple owl options as well. The owls are really nice. We love an owl, so pretty. Again, amazing detail. Look at how his eyes glimmer. Whoa, so pretty. And then we've got the barn owl. I love this one. This one's very woodsy. This would look good with the Tierra Cast Woodland Collection for sure. So pretty. Um, koalas. Koalas are cool. I got to pet a koala when I was in Australia. Um, I just patted him on the back really, but they're very fuzzy and soft and they're so, they're really like, they don't really do much. <laughs> They just kind of sit there, at least the one I saw, but he might be a little more tame than the ones in the wild, but they're, they're very slow and very soft. So very cute koala. We've got a bald eagle here. Um, actually, I see bald eagles a lot here where I work, where our office is. Every time I drive into work, there's at least one bald eagle flying. We're going down by the ocean. We've, we're in kind of a bald eagle spot, but it's always so fun to see them. I'm always like, eagle! Like You get really excited when you see an eagle. <laughs> <laughs> so you could add it to your jewelry and then everyone would be excited. This one's really cool. If you're a fantasy fan, we've got this cool dragon. I'm loving this one and the details in this one are incredible. Especially, have you guys been watching the new House of the Dragon show? That's, that show's really good. I'm really enjoying it. Um, and their budget must be insane because the CGI for the dragons is really incredible. So really pretty piece here if you're a fantasy fan we've got a rhinoceros as well oh i love look at how this one gleams that mother of pearl is really beautiful on this one just adds that little subtle shine so beautiful gorgeous and then we've got some cats for the cat lovers this cute little gray cat look at the eyes i love how the the mother of pearl shell adds like a glow to their eyes so beautiful. Yeah, I think uh, House of Dragon is better than expected too. It's it's really well done so far. And then this cute little cat surrounded by the flowers. So sweet. I love it. Then we got bunnies. This cute little bunny. This one is a good one for Easter. Maybe Easter next year you can make a little bunny necklace or just spring in general. So, so sweet. Um, we've got this cool snake. This looks like a Maybe like a rattlesnake or a python or something. So cool. Uh, same time that I pet a koala, I also held a snake um, in Australia. So that was pretty fun. <laughs> uh, snakes are pretty interesting and they feel like their their scales feel really interesting. I don't know. I'm not scared of snakes per se. I wouldn't necessarily pick one up in the wild. That doesn't seem like a good idea. But if I'm at a zoo and they offer to let me hold it, I'll do it. They're, they're cool animal. <laughs> And then we've got bears. These these pendants are bringing out all my animal stories. So I do have a bear story as well. Um, I went to Glacier in, in August this past summer and we did a hike 
and it was a really long hike. We were hiking for like 14 miles. And so it was getting about like four or 5 PM. We're like, Oh, this is like prime bear time. Hopefully we don't see a bear and we're walking on the trail and a bear, a black bear comes right up the trail toward us. It was, <laughs> it was right in front of us. It was really scary. So we had to, we didn't have to use our bear spray, but we got it out. We like, were waving our arms and saying, Hey bear, get off the trail. Like you're supposed to like get really big and yell at them to kind of get them to go away. But I think he just wanted to keep walking on the trail. He seemed like a lazy bear. So it took him a while to get off the trail and back into the woods. But that was, that was a close bear encounter. And then we walked a little bit further and met up with this big group of hikers. So I felt better about being with a big group. And then there was, a grizzly bear eating uh, berries like just off the trail. So I was like, I've never hiked so fast in my life. I was, I was booking it out of there. I didn't want to see any more bears, but they are, they're cute from afar, but I don't want to see them that close ever again. <laughs> So this might be a good pendant for me to always remember the time I saw bears in Glacier. This is my kind of bear, the one that's on jewelry. <laughs> so cute. And again, amazing details. I love this up close one. And then with the baby too. You definitely don't want to see a bear with its baby in real life because that's when they get protective. So no babies when I saw the bears and they were pretty preoccupied with whatever they were doing. So that was good. They weren't aggressive bears. And then we've got a giraffe. So cute. Um, I love seeing giraffes at the zoo. They're such cool animals. It always makes me think like, why? <laughs> why does that, why does that animal have such a long neck? It's really interesting. Um, so beautiful. I love this. And again, that, that mother of pearl just looks like a beautiful sky in the background. You don't even have to paint that to give it just some great detail. And you have bears in your yard every day. Oh my gosh. As long as you can look at them from inside, that, that would make me feel safer. <laughs> so cute. And then this might be uh, my favorite one actually of the bunch. I really love this horse pendant. I love the movement of it. I love that the horse is kind of running. The grass is really well done and the colors, like the clouds on that mother of pearl is just so beautiful. I love that. So this is the one I kind of gathered beads to go along with. And I do have a list of the beads that I picked to go with this pendant in the video description as well. Um, such a pretty piece. I love this one. So I thought it would look good with some gemstones. I've got some Dakota stones, Amazonite. I think that looks really good in there. And then I've got the fire polished beads. Um, I thought picking some fire polished beads would be good. I've got more turquoise colors. I like this turquoise color because it kind of has hints of that darker kind of coppery brown color that reminds me of the sky and the color of the horse. Then we've got these colors that I think work really well. Some kind of brassy gold. Um, pulled some Toho Demi Rounds in kind of a coppery color. I thought that would work. I even pulled one of the pieces from the Tierra Cast Woodland Collection. Like, wouldn't that be cute? Just kind of dangling together. You could even like glue it on there for some interesting texture. Um, super fun. Even maybe some wings on it. That'd be cute. You could make it a Pegasus. <laughs> Um, and then a, a great way to attach these kinds of pendants to your designs is using a pinch bale like this one and this bale, the prongs are going to fit in perfectly. So I'm actually going to go ahead and pinch that in place. I think I can use my fingers, but if not, I can switch to my pliers, but pewter is typically soft enough. You can manipulate it with your fingers. Yeah, there we go there and then you've got a nice uh, bale to add it to whatever project that you want to and it looks really nice it's just a nice finishing touch on a pendant like that so really pretty I'm loving the bale on there I also picked out this um, Jesse James bead mix in light academia because there were some really interesting choices in here that I thought would work well so let's dump this out and see yeah, there are some bigger beads. This is quite a sizable pendant. It's a really nice big size. Let me get that pinch bail all the way in there. Make sure it's closed all the way so we don't have that come off. There we go. Thank you guys for the stars. That's so sweet. 
they're so pretty so yeah so there's some great pieces in here like i think these bead caps would look really good even this like let's see yeah oh that would be pretty oh that looks great oh and this one okay i love this mix because it has the little locket with the these lava beads you can infuse these with oil so put like your essential oils and then hide it in the little locket and then uh, wear it like this save this one for another project because that's going to be a really fun piece to add to your designs i love these little spacers that are included here these are a great color to go with this yeah this was a really good like look at that that matches perfectly so this is a really good mix to add in here even these are really fun and would look really good with this piece too so there's uh lots of fun here this color too is nice with that color of the horse let's cut some of these strands and kind of play around here with this again i have links to all of these beads bead strands in the video description um, if you want to shop these strands, there's some fun ones here. Definitely want to sprinkle in some gemstones. Yeah, beautiful. <clears throat> so I'm just loving this horse pendant because it's, I don't know, there's something about it that speaks to me. I'm not, I wouldn't say I am a huge horse girl. I've always loved horses, never really ridden them though. My father-in-law does have, um, what is the breed of horse he has? It's like a big draft horse, but it's not a draft horse. I want to say, uh, it's a Percheron, I think, because it's, it's big, but it's a uh, black and white, a uh, really beautiful horse. Um, so sweet too. She's like a dog. When you call her over, she'll come and get pets and stuff and very food motivated. We've had to feed her a couple times and she is um, right on you when she wants her food. <laughs> but she's such a beautiful horse and um, I've ridden a couple of my father-in-law's horses, but um, only a couple times. I think they're so beautiful though. All right, these colors are really nice. So pretty. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, let's get some jewelry wire and get started on this. So pretty. What is your, let me know your favorite um, animal pendant in the comments. Let me know which one your favorite is because there are a lot of pretty ones. Really fun ones to choose from. Yeah, I think horses are so beautiful. And maybe because I've been watching Yellowstone lately, I'm really into this one. Tina says she loves horses and miss riding them. Let's see. Yeah, I love scattering things out. Um, so pretty. So let's get this glued on. So um, we've got this large pendant and this large bale. We could add smaller beads in here. I think maybe that's what I'll do to kind of keep it in place. Add these smaller beads in. Yeah, that'll be pretty. And then let's see, let's see. Oh, this one's nice. Let's do that one. And then I think maybe one of these chips. Actually, let's do this, kind of balance that out and then I just love playing around with jewelry designs. They're so fun. Oh yeah, that's pretty. I think I want to do that again. So maybe add this bead. Add this bead and then add this bead again. 
oh yeah and then I really like this one and I think with the size of the pendant that we have here this will work really well oh that's so cool hmm what do we think what do we think of that is that too big um maybe if it was like closer you know what I do need I definitely need a bead stopper these beads are gonna go flying Let's put a bead stopper on there. Hmm, I really like this one, this bead cap too. Maybe we could use, oh, that'd be kind of fun. Like do this, oops, I need to do it the other way. Do this and then do this. I'm liking um, mixing the metals in this design, the brass and the copper. Yeah, that's what I was thinking with that big teardrop. Like, if I did that one, I'd have to do it, like, closer to the pendant. That's fun. Let's try that and then do, like, the um, same... Same little segment of gemstones here. I'm really loving these uh, Jesse James bead mixes for projects that I do on the fly because they just include really interesting beads that kind of tie all of these um, strands that I've brought together. They tie them into each other really nicely. Yeah, that looks good. And then let's see, we want another like little interesting piece there. Let's do like a I like using this bead as kind of a buffer between these little segments that I have. Let's do that. And then this one. Maybe this red. And then this one. Ooh, that's fun. Oh, I like that. Yeah, let's do that. And then we'll do the, um, the other segment again. So you can see like how quickly something like this can come together. Um, it's really fun to just kind of play around, especially when you have a really beautiful um, pendant like this horse or any of the other animals. It's really fun to just pick a few different bead strands and just have fun playing with the bead strands. Maybe get a bead mix like the Jesse James bead mix and the pendant that you've chosen. There's all kinds of possibilities for these. It's so fun to see it all come together. So I really am liking that. Oh, that looks so good. I love it. Yeah, super, super cute. So let's do that on the other side and we're gonna have to, uh, there we go. <laughs> um, and I think length is interesting too for a pendant this big. For something this big, I like a little bit shorter. I like it to either rest right above the bust or like collarbone length or really long, like where it dangles kind of in the midsection. So it just depends. You can go either really short or really long with this one. Okay, let's see. I need to yeah, do that. So let's finish up this side. We did the copper. that. Let's do some more of these. To hold down your hand. Man, I've been cross-stitching a lot this week and my fingers are feeling it. <laughs> I need to uh, take a break. Remind myself to take a break. But once you get into it, it's like hard to stop. Just like beating. Just want to keep going, keep making, keep creating. We'll do this bead cap, and I think I have another one of those somewhere. Yeah, there he is. He's hidden in my uh, 
Toho Demi Rounds. And this bead is really interesting. You have to get the jewelry wire through just so. There we go. I like those together. It's almost like, I don't know, it's like woodland, like a berry or something. Perfect for fall. All right, there we go. There we go. Let's see, I got another one of these. And then, gemstone. Gemstone, I think I need to cut off or get more of these, yeah. So then after that guy, we need another fire polish. There we go. So super cute. Oh, and I didn't even realize that I put that red between the turquoise at the last. I thought I was picking up a demi round, but that actually looks really good. I like those together. So super cute. Um, that came together really quickly. I love how it turned out. There's a lot of colors to kind of get inspired by in this pendant. So really fun. I just need to pick out um, a nice little clasp to go with that. I think I'll choose copper to match the bail. So those are our new hand-painted animal focal pendants. So pretty and so many to choose from. Whatever animal you love, we've got one for you. Even some fantasy with that dragon. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope that this was inspiring to you. Let me know your favorite animal pendant of the bunch in the comments and also make sure to leave a like. And as always, make sure to subscribe to our channel so you're the first to know when videos like this are out. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.